noise for Christopher Michael. My name is Christopher Michael, and I've never been more angry, afraid, or proud to be black. I've never been forced to live life outside the closet. Instead, I am the closet, turned inside out, wearing the shadow of closed closets weaved in my skin every day. A clear reflection of lights out, the darkness that is now quietly feared, secretly hated, because public ridicule of Negroes is now taboo progress. The world is changing, but just in case it isn't fast enough, here's some advice. You got a cotton club. Shuck and jive. Even when explained to one how difficult it is to be black, how deadly it is to be black, how privileged one is not to be, your expertly trained feet can distract by dancing a jig. Watch me Mary Poppins you with a spoonful of sugar. You got a white face at work. Smile. Show your teeth. Your teeth are white. They can identify with that. Make them smile. You cannot hate or laugh simultaneously. Don't, don't take too much credit. Be on time. Don't be early. Be seen. Be heard. Woo! Give me a second. Give me a second. All right. You got a white face at work. Smile. Show your teeth. Your teeth are white. They can identify with that. Make them laugh. You cannot hate and laugh simultaneously. Don't be seen. Be heard. They love our music, but won't pay to see us in the theater. And when do you do you wrong, and you will be done wrong, it is the nature of mankind. You can't get as angry as they would. Our angry is amplified by the commercialized crumbs of our culture. We don't have lobbyists paying politicians and producers to protect our persona is poisoned by popular cable news entertainment of us committing all the crime. Our vision of us is tainted by the jungles of Africa they think they see on TV. Angrily flared nostrils and an already broad nose looks like the beast before it strikes. Don't be the beast they've been warned about. Your justified outrage over wrongdoing will look like you're climbing Empire State Buildings. Swatting planes with one hand while clutching a white woman in the other. Son, don't let them King Kong you. Don't let your hair do anything they can't appropriate. Don't do the latest cultural hand-to-hand -hand greeting and public unless they've allowed a passage on the mainstream. Don't think your success on the court will get us equality in the court. Don't confuse honor on the battlefield and glory on the football field with freedom from the cotton field. And even, even if you're the duly elected, electoral college selected president of the greatest, the freest country in the world, you must maintain your composure. So when the gentlemen of the Senate violate centuries of protocol to yell obscenities at you during a speech, you must shackle your desire to to retort. Noose your need to go Chicago. Have nigga upside his head. Whip your face into shape. Oversee your reactions. Be the master of your emotions. Don't sweat. Don't flinch. Keep your eyes on that teleprompter boy. And most importantly, you must allow them the privilege of not realizing they're staring inside the closet. The closet their grandparents hid so many skeletons in. Those memories will make them hate you more. And remember, memory loss is the only reparations they will ever offer you. Woo!